Good morning, Captain Matt Edwards retired here. Going to uh, do a video this morning. All of these videos, well, maybe not all. Most of these videos are not about me. Most of these videos are trying to help somebody else, some other veteran who may have an issue and I notice it. Today's uh, issue is gonna be about uh, the Pension Act pensioner who is often overlooked because people think that they get a good deal better than the new Veterans Charter. Well, the new Veterans Charter people are being screwed, but the Pension Act people are also being screwed. Back in 1976, they said that they had to give CISA plus the pension because the pension assessments were coming in at an average of 10 to 20 percent, and people couldn't live on that, so they decided to add CISA to the mix. Now, then they took it away. Nah. Give with the left hand, take away with the right. However, the new thought was, if you get the earnings exceptional incapacity allowance under the old pension act they made it in law that you couldn't get the permanent impairment allowance now they're supposed to be for two different things the exceptional incapacity allowance uh, is for pain and suffering what they lied about in the manage case the pension act is not about pain and suffering the exceptional incapacity allowance is parliament is presumed not to duplicate laws but the Permanent Impairment Allowance Supplement came in in 2010. Now I view the Permanent Impairment Allowance Supplement should be allowed to be paid in addition to the Exceptional Incapacity Allowance. Unless I missed that in the law, like the EIA plus PIA is forbidden in law, but I don't think there's anything there about Permanent Impairment Allowance Supplement. And the purpose of the Permanent Impairment Allowance Supplement is to compensate you for if you can't work in the future. So if you get the Pension Act, uh, EIA, why can't you get the Permanent Impairment Allowance Supplement under the new Veterans Charter? So that's the purpose of this video, is to pass it on, and I'll have a look at it later, and if I'm wrong, well, I'll publish it in my observation post. I won't put out a new video. But if I find out that, you know, they made a law, but you know, all laws are not proper. Sometimes they make a law that's unjust. And when a law is unjust, say it's arbitrary, it gets struck down when it's challenged in the courts. You can't just make a law up in, in democracy. Laws are supposed to be reasonable. Like I believe the fact that the EIA plus PIA not being received at the same time, I believe that law is unreasonable.